The end of the year is approaching. That means it is time for your year in review from Xbox, which if you don't know what this is, it is a cool little feature where you can log in and it will show you a whole bunch of cool stats from your year of gaming. So let me show you what you need to do and then I'll show you my year in review. So first off, you need to head to this website, which I will leave linked down below in the description. And in case you're wondering what it is, I'll show you right now. It is xbox.com forward slash year in review. Then click on in there. You can do this on your mobile phone or you can do this on your PC. And I'm already logged in with my Xbox account here. So it's taking me straight to my year in review, which is pretty cool. And you can see here, total time, 152 hours, plus 4,000 gamer score, 56 games, and 246 achievements. And my top gameplay month was January, funnily enough. I didn't expect that. 49% shooter, 27% action, RPG, racing, and then other. And here we go. Here's a whole bunch of the games we've played, which is pretty cool. I like this. Here's how you stack up with other players. You're in the top 25% of players for hours played. You're in the top 5% of players for gamer score. And you're in the top 5% of players for achievements unlocked and here we go my number one most played game is vampire survivors i'm actually not surprised about that i do love vampire survivors there we go and we've got 755 out of 1500 gamer score next up is call of duty newest one okay call of duty modern warfare 3 and then we've got high on life so there you go that is your year in review make sure you let me know down below in the comments what your top three most played games are down below and check out the video on screen for more awesome gaming content